Well, new at six, a startling discovery as a driver learned the person they were transporting to the funeral home wasn't dead. This is a hard one to believe. KDK has learned they picked up the wrong person at a nursing home in Shadyside. Mamie Ba has been working to find out how it could have happened. It's really a wild story. Many wondering who is to blame staff at the rehabilitation center or the funeral home. The state health department tells me what happened here is concerning. It's a shock. We've learned that the wrong person was picked up at Shady Side Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. While en route to the funeral home, the driver realized the person was alive. You would hate that to be your relative. And you're going to have questions as the family. You're going to have questions about your loved one and their safety and well-being with a situation like this. How do you mess up something like that? The question on everyone's minds, and the one the spokesperson for the center won't answer, along with so many others. Instead, in a statement, they said in part, once we became aware, we contacted the Department of Health and the Family Emergency Contact, and also took necessary steps internally to address. I sat down with Kirk Freivogel, part owner of this funeral home not involved in this case, for insight on the role everyone plays. Whether it is at, at a home, or whether it is uh, in a facility. Uh, funeral directors count on the medical professionals to have pronounced the person deceased prior to us being dispatched. We are not trained in uh, medical procedures of checking to see if someone is deceased or, or alive. I reached out to the state. I'm told it doesn't regulate the transport process. People can't help but think how different this situation could have turned out. What if she would have gotten to the funeral home and they would have started the process? The state health department tells me it cannot comment specifically on whether the center is under investigation following this incident. Reporting in Shadyside, Mimi Ba, KDKA TV News.